Hi, seventh grade teachers. Uh, my name again is Carla Corpus for some of you that are new like Mr. Leonard. And uh, today we're going to be talking about cooter testing. Um, I thought I'd do something a little different this year than in the past years because I know that we all have different schedules and it's very hard for us to get together. So I'm gonna do an online training. Um, so basically every seventh grader is required to take the cooter test and the cooter test is simply an interest inventory test to figure out or match up the the goals of the students that of what they want to be when they grow up with their career interests <clears throat> so at the end of this test it will give results to the students letting them know what their interests are and where what career pathways they scored the highest so that it will help them to pick a career pathway um, once they get into high school because with House Bill 5 it's required that they choose one um, in order to create their four-year plan and choose their classes and so forth so typically we take the test in the seventh grade and then in the eighth grade, we talk about the results. Um, the good thing about it is that our career um, explorations teachers are talking to all of our students about this or in their classes about this, so it shouldn't be totally new to them. Um, so the way that we're gonna administer this test is it's gonna be in your classes. You will be responsible for making sure that every single one of your students takes the test. Even if they're absent, just keep a log um, of who is absent and then make sure that you get them back to take this test, whether it's during mega lunch, before school, or after school, but they must, every single seventh grader in your classes must take it. Um, so let's begin with the training. It's very, very simple. Uh, and the first thing that I want to let you know is that once you log into the website, it's going to ask you for the students or it's going to ask the students for their us username and password. The district is going to automatically give everybody a username and a password. So you don't have to worry about giving them one. You will have a master list that I'm going to provide to you with all of your students' names and passwords. If for some reason what I'm about to say does not work, you look up that student's name and you give them their username and password. Okay? So the first thing that you do is you write on the, um, your, on the board the website that every child should um, should go into and it doesn't matter whether they use Chrome or they use Internet Explorer I was told that both uh, should work so on the board the first thing that you will do is write www.pasadenaisd.cooter.com uh, you will see a handout uh, on this as well as on this video and it should look something like this And like I said, um, you will see a, a handout like this in, in, in after, after I finish talking about this slide. And um, on that website, it's gonna ask you for a username and password. The username shall always begin in all caps, P-I-S-D, zero, and then the student number. For example, if my student number is one two three four five six then my username is going to be PISD zero one two three four five six it must have the zero and it must have the all caps on the password the password should be the first initial followed by the last names no spaces so my name is Carla Corpus so my password is going to be K Corpus all one word no pa no spaces <clears throat> then the students are going to choose login after they choose login, this is when we go to the second slide. On the second slide, you're going to see Cooter Navigator, and it's going to have a red uh, bar at the top. And um, the students are going to choose the assessment there. And the assessment that the uh, students are going to choose is the, uh, it's the, uh, 
Cooter Skills Interest Inventory Test. So they will click on that exam and it's going to ask them for a activation code. The activation code I'm going to give to you as well and it will start with the letter N in all caps and um, it will look something uh, I'll just give it to you verbally, but I'm going to give it to you as well in another handout. It's going to be N42286222. Capital K, capital K, Q. And it will be the navigator that they're going to be taking. Um, after they put in that ID number, then they will go ahead and get started with the exam. Another question that they're going to be asked is for their current grade level. They just have to select seventh grade. And then it will take them straight into the test so they can press start. And then they will get the next screen that they see will be a sample question so they know exactly what, the, what to expect once they get started. The sample questions will give you three sentences and the students have to put it in the order of their most favorite. The students might, after reading the sentences, they're going to say, Miss, but I don't like any of these sentences. How can I put them in order if I don't like any of them? Well, you have to tell them, well, you have to choose them your most favorite. Whether it's, you don't like it or not, just choose one. And all they have to do is click on their favorite. That would be number one. And then click on their second favorite and then the third one will automatically click by itself and then they press continue and continue and I believe it's going to be like I think last year it was like 60 questions um, and everybody's going to finish differently when they are finished then they just go ahead and say finish there'll be a little icon that says finish so they just click finish and they will get the results um, they will get what, what they scored the highest, which career pathway, and they can play around with it after they're done, if there's if if a time allows, and um, and uh, and just kind of look what career clusters fall into that career pathway. They can do that as well, and then just let them know that. Uh, next year when they become eighth graders, the counselors, we're going to meet with e each one of them separately and help them to create their four-year plans. Um, this typically takes the entire period. One thing that I want to make sure that you guys do is that you remind every student that their tablets must be fully charged Okay, so just remind them, so we start testing on Monday, so remind them on Sunday, hey, make sure that your, your um, netbook is fully charged. Mrs. Grant will also have a mobile lab that I requested that I checked out from the library, so if there are some students that uh, don't have a tablet, we can always pull those as well and they can use the tablet. And then they have to put it back and make sure that when they give you back the tablet, that you put it to charge again, okay? Uh, and that mobile lab will be checked out for the entire week, so from Monday through Friday of next week. Um, when, if there is a student in your class that is ESL and doesn't know how to read in English, there is a function at the very top of the screen after they get started that says Espanol. They can click on that and all the questions are going to be, uh, or not questions, but the sentences will be in Spanish. So they can also take this test in, in their own language. Um, we will, as I mentioned again, we will be walking around myself, Ms. Abby Farmer, and Ms. Almendaras to get you guys started. I'm, I know that after you after we do after we do it one time you're going to become a pro it's very very easy to do now for students that on your master list if they don't have a username and password that's because they're brand new to the district and they will have to go through the entire registration process if there's a situation like that please make sure that you grab myself <clears throat> or Ms. Farmer or Ms. Almondaris, and we'll help you through that. I'm also going to give you a handout that goes through all the different steps if you do have a student that is brand new to the district and doesn't have a username or password. It gives you directions <clears throat> from the beginning to the end, 
okay? So not only will we be, be, be available, but also we'll give you a handout for those students that need additional support. Um, I think this pretty much completes our training. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me uh, or stop by the office. Um, but then again, I will also be available when you're testing. Uh, I'll be walking around double checking and making sure that everything is taken care of. Thank you for your time. Good luck.